Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions slash review on this Walmart Beauty Latest in Lips Favorites. That's what the front looks like. These are all the products in it. It says neutral matches everything with advice from beauty mavens like you. We selected some of our favorite essentials for fuller looking nude hued lips. There's the top. That's all the lip products right there. I haven't tried any of these lip formulas. The only thing I've tried is this elf lip exfoliator. I originally saw this video by Ally Glines and I saw that Walmart had $10 beauty boxes and I was like I have to try that out. So I watched her video and I kind of saw what I would want and the lips one was really the most intriguing to me because that was the thing that I didn't have any of the products besides the elf lip exfoliator which I could use a backup of anyways. I'm really excited because all of these lip colors like each would be $10. I know for sure this one's close to $10 and so is this one. This is a mini but that's like the only mini which is really crazy that they give you five full size items and then one mini for $10. These are like less than $2 each. This looks like a pretty good deal and I wanted to try all of these formulas in here anyways. Now I get to try them but for so much cheaper. It's over a $38 value. I'm super excited to try on all these lip colors. I know I'm looking a little bald because I don't have any eyelashes. I just really didn't feel like putting mascara on. That's like the worst thing to take off is mascara for me so like I was just like you know what I'm just not gonna do it. We're just gonna open this bad boy up. This is what it looks like. The e.l.f. lip exfoliator. Here's mine. Um, I'll just go ahead and show you what mine looks like. I'm using it on the lips. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. I do recommend doing this with like chapstick on your lips. It can hurt a little bit if your lips like aren't moisturized. Even if your lips are just wet. I really love this lip exfoliator. I need to moisturize my lips again, so I'm just gonna put some more Aquaphor on, but I'm gonna put like a super teeny amount, like the thinnest layer. I just need something on there. I'm just gonna go in order on the back. I'm gonna start out with this Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, and this is in the shade 530 Peony Buff. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand first because I don't wanna just go in and like not know. It's pretty thick. It's like very pigmented too like i thought this was gonna be just like a lip gloss which it is it smells like it has like a little bit of a peppermint but it's like the slightest peppermint so that was a pretty sheer layer i like kept going over it but i wasn't really putting any extra product out i only put a little bit out that's what it looks like when it's pretty sheer it's pretty pink i really like this color and it's like super comfortable it's not tingling or anything but it just surprised me how Think it was it's definitely not sticky i don't know it's like perfect it kind of just feels like a lip balm i'm not putting any foundation on my lips these might look a little different on you like especially the lip glosses because you'll have a different base tone to it next i'm gonna go in with the milani amore matte lip cream it literally smells like icing like cake icing like vanilla icing it's a very runny formula my lips are kind of like dry there's no chapstick on them so i feel like this might be a little drying this makes me want cake this is adorable it does look a little more dry because because I didn't put chapstick on right before and it feels like a very powdery matte finish. The only transfer it has is like right there but it's probably just because it didn't dry but that dried pretty fast and I love this color. I feel like it'd be a lot better if I did put like chapstick on like right before. It's really thin, it's pretty pigmented. There it is on a hand swoop. This probably isn't gonna come off just with the wipe. We'll see. Definitely not. What I do, I just use this like Ulta Christmas lip balm because it's super oily. I don't really like it for moisturizing, but it's like so oily. And then take it off with your makeup or whatever. You can do coconut oil, but I just think that's a lot more convenient. It's in a chapstick for and I'll have to stick my hand in a jar. This is the Hard Candy Plumping Serum Lip Gloss in Sugar Sugar. Let's see what the applicator looks like. Ooh, that's what that looks like. It's pretty sheer, but it's nice. I feel like the only thing is like not a lot comes out on the applicator like I don't know so I feel like I'm gonna have to dip in a bunch which I hate doing. There's barely any minty smell to it. I do feel a little bit of tingling. It is a little patchy like you can see like it's pretty even like all here but then at the top I can't really get it even. This is nothing special but I mean it's really pretty still. I feel like it did take a little more work than I feel like a lip gloss should take. I love this color. It's just like a milky pink but it's pretty sheer. The stinging isn't anything really at all. Both of these like lip glosses neither of them are really too minty so if like y'all can't stand mint this is a pretty good one. <gasps> what is that right is it supposed to look like that i don't think it is i think it's supposed to look like this that is jacked 
Is it supposed to do that? I think it's supposed to be straight. What in the world? I was just trying to get my swatch ready. Oh, that's a pretty color. Now I'm gonna try this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Statement Nude. It looks like a warmer brown terracotta kind of color. I'm gonna have to look at that again, but I don't think that they're supposed to be curved like this. Cause this is just like weird. It smells like a candy. This like applicator is very spongy. The end of it is very flimsy. The application definitely isn't the best. This is what the color looks like. I'm gonna let it dry and see if it gets any darker. I really like this color. I just wish that my applicator wasn't all jacked up. Look at her applicator. Look, it's it's straight. How does this happen? It just kind of feels like a creamy lipstick. They feel like they can move. Let's see how bad the transfer is. And it still transfers a lot. This kind of reminds me of a Ultra Satin Lip by ColourPop, but the formula is like a lot thinner. And that formula doesn't transfer. I just don't know how long that would last. Now we're gonna try out this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Lover. Look at that applicator. Ooh, nice. I don't think this one has a smell. The applicator is kind of like stiff too. I like that because it won't like move around. This is definitely more of a thicker cream. The applicator doesn't really hold that much product either. This is probably the worst application yet. I would have thought that this would have been the easiest one, but the applicator, I feel like it's just a little bit too stiff. Like, I thought that it'd be better to be, like, completely stiff. I don't know. I think I like a little bit of flimsiness to it. Once again, go ahead and go check out Allie Glein's video because she does use every box, every product. I really like these. I'm definitely gonna play around with these. This is a steal. I love all the products in here. I'm definitely always gonna have to try them out and wear them and all that and see if they're even good like wearing i think i want to put a little bit of this gloss on i have an avocado that's ready so i'm about to be eating some avocado on toast and we'll see how this lasts i so recommend this set tell me down below if you're going to try this or if you have tried this or any of these like individual products or if you like the other boxes just let us all know down below i really hope you all enjoyed this video if you did i would love it if you subscribed and also check out any of my other videos please leave any recommendations down below if you saw my last video i need y'all help thank you so much for watching bye this lip color makes my eyes look like so green oh my goodness this font is tiny does it say the name on this box because girl like come on